Hey there, welcome. So today we're going to be covering uh, the unboxing of this chair uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about it after. Alright guys, so what we have here is something that was purchased for me because I'm tired of sitting on a broken chair and we needed to get a chair so we got this. It's the Von S, I believe is how it's pronounced, Von S, Von S. Um, and it is a massage gaming chair. So let's do the unboxing and a quick review. Uh, I'll put it together and then uh, we'll see how it works. So this was uh, a gift. I figured it would work for unboxing. So let's start. Now this was ordered off Amazon and we will uh, put a screenshot of the order page in case it's something that you wanted to get. I am not an affiliate of Amazon, so I do not make any money if you decide to purchase it. Now, this wasn't the most expensive chair that they had, but it was uh, the one about mid-range. Uh, and it had a lot of the features that I want uh, with my back injuries. Uh, basically, uh, the massage is going to make it possible for me to do editing for longer. Uh, on the channel so obviously we start off everything seems to be um, packaged really well individually <coughs> five coat casters that's nice it's not leather but it's a uh, leather like material and it's actually really soft oh, my goodness. so this is the VN 100 or the red white and black one there's a VN 200 and a VN 300 a uh, little bit different designs oh my goodness it's uh, quite a substantial chair it has actually very sturdy feel to it Packaged really nicely. Everything seems to be in good condition. Very, very, very sturdy. Not like what you would expect from a uh, cheaper brand. And the mechanism is all solid metal. No plastic pieces except for the knob. It's all hard metal. Big bolts. Metal arm plastic knobs like I said everything's labeled nice and that's it <clears throat> I think they made this for a man because I've yet to see any instructions so <laughs> not that we would use them anyways right Ah, directions, not very much. Just in English. So you, if you're not English, you probably aren't watching this video. Um, but you'll have to go to the website and use a translator possibly. So what we're going to do now, now that I have the directions I'm not going to follow, is uh, we'll cut away. Or maybe we'll go some fast fast motion see if I can figure out how to do that in the editing all right so we're just gonna go ahead and build it all the bolts have the same head they include the tool that you're going to need. They all go in. They're pre-drilled holes. Everything has threaded receivers on the other side. So it's actually really good. One of the better kits I've seen as far as that's concerned. So 
unlike some of those cheap chairs, you know, where you screw everything in, this is pretty much where it would sit. And that's it. That's the finish you get. But with this chair, even though it's not the top of the market when it comes to the chairs, it's got these little finishers that just pop in. They actually are really snug to give it a better finish. I really like that. That's something you don't usually see on a, you know, under $200 chair. So, but I definitely say that just from putting it together, I haven't actually sat in it yet, but just from putting it together, it's fairly sturdy. And then the last piece, So that's it. Um, I'll give you my final impressions in a second. All right, welcome back. So as you could see, when we were putting it together, it seemed really sturdy. As I sit in it now, it feels really sturdy. It's a little squeaky, but it's brand new, so it probably will be for a while. It's got an adjustable seat here, so I can bring it up, oh, up or down. Whoa, jeepers, creepers, it's fast, so be careful. Um, here's your control. I have plugged it into the computer. <coughs> And uh, let's give it a try. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, so it comes on to high automatically. You get a nice little light so you know that it's on. Uh, believe me, you're not going to need the light. It, uh, it's quite, quite the massager on high. Let's go to middle. So middle's like a pulsing. It's still fairly loud though. I don't know. I don't know if you'd want to be doing it if you're on a Zoom meeting with your boss or trying to shoot another video. And then low is like a wind up, wind down, wind up, but it's still loud. So I think the only thing I. I really have negative to say about this whole setup is the, the loudness of the massager um, when it's on. Other than that, I mean, I'm a large guy, six foot four. Um, we're not going to talk about how much I weigh, but it's enough. Um, it's sturdy. I can roll. The wheels are free. It's not catching up on anything. It does have a little bit of a, a rock back, and then there's another under here you can make it so it will rock way back uh, but I've restricted it the arms are at a good height so all in all I'd have to give this a two thumbs up I would say that uh, if I was going to purchase another chair in this ballpark I definitely would look at this chair again uh, I will put a screenshot of the Amazon page where I got it if you could get it somewhere else great um, but it is a Von East or Von S uh, I liked it because of the Viking actually, uh, and the wife liked it because it was red. So all in all, it's actually a very functional chair and I can see myself doing a lot of hours of editing in it. So as far as my chair situation on the studio, I'd have to say that we're done looking. So right on. So until next time, if I don't see you around, see you square. <laughs>